Hello, hello, hello. Let's have a look at Chantal Fruity Beauty, aka Everyday Mariam's newest Iftar Ramadan vlog. Welcome back to another video. Well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep. <laughs> Did you get that coy look at the camera? <laughs> That was pretty funny. Look at that coy look. Hello there. Did you know that you can request oh. a private video from me? <laughs> made just, just for you that you can keep forever. She's just a shy damsel. Getting caught walking. Forever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Why would anyone want to pep talk from her? She's the most uninspirational person. Yes, if you leave the house more, you'd be more used to it. Here at the city center we're gonna pick up a few things have a look around I'm particularly looking for a silver chain for a charm that I found that was my grandmother's so I want to wear it as a necklace so the city center is like a huge center where you, there's so many things you can get clothes food uh, housewares all kinds of things so yeah yellow let's go shopping you mean like a mall with different stores never heard of it I just realized I have her on normal speed and that is how slow she walks and I thought it was slow with 1.5 I'm gonna put her on 1.5 now just so she can walk a bit almost, you know, normal pace. There are lots of clothes here. I bought a shirt from this place once. That blue one I have is from there. Wood here, guys. This is what they make bokor with um, incense. You burn it on uh, the coals. And oh, that looks interesting. They make fragrances also. All right, so we're gonna look for a silver chain here. I would have wanted to know more about the wood incense because that's not something you get everywhere. We're at this store, <laughs> jewelry store. Sadly, we checked a few places, but we couldn't find one that had exactly what I'm looking for. A type of real silver chain in my size, just the chain that doesn't come with the charm. So I'm going to have to keep looking. So hopefully in another sook somewhere in Kuwait, I will find one, I'm sure. Look at this cool escalator with no stairs on it. That is cool. I wonder why they have that. Of course, it's it's going to be a lot longer than a normal escalator because it doesn't have the stairs. I wonder if it is because most people there wear these long abayas. And all the women wear these long dresses. I don't know. That's maybe a factor in that. Whee! <laughs> Oh, 
So here's the food court. It's still closed until my good time, which will be in about an hour. Also, I want to say I got recognized in public by a fan. So hello to you. Thank you for saying hi. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching me. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, we're going to go get some snacks. <laughs> Yola. Yeah, yeah, I know I don't need snack, whatever. All right, guys, we found an arcade, and because I'm a big kid, I love arcades. <laughs> Aw, I want a cute, creepy bee person. So I just wanted to show you guys this fun little area they had here inside this gigantic shopping center. This is one of those things you can <laughs> grab this heavy hammer and then hit it and try to get as much points as you can. And this, I don't know what that is, I think like a dancing station. And they even had a nice big full-size bowling alley inside. And we do want to go bowling again, so stay tuned for that. All right. Whee! We're leaving the food court to go do more shopping because we still have to wait and all I can smell is food and it smells so good. And I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Also, this center has a huge grocery store inside of sorts and they had some good deals so we picked up a few things mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli you know like cheese pickled beets olives and some deli meat stuff like that this is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that i really like in soup they're so good and i thought this was cute ramadan decorated nutella jars crackers in soup what i've never heard of that usually people eat croutons in soup or just like the bread into it okay So these huge bag of sweets are sold for a traditional Kuwaiti celebration here during Ramadan called Yogeyan, where children will dress up in traditional Kuwaiti attire, such as Dara and Dishdasha, and will go door to door asking for candies and nuts, and in exchange they usually sing songs and uh, are dressed up. And this is Al Rafai, same as Salah's family name, and it's a popular roastery here in Kuwait, Syrian. That does look like a really nice supermarket. I'm sure you can find some nice stuff there. They have a huge Tang section here. Do you guys remember Tang as kids? <laughs> So Salah ran back to the car to put all the groceries in so we could eat in the food court and he caught the sun going down. There was about five minutes left to Maghrib time or when Iftar starts when we can break our fast. So I was waiting in the food court. We had already ordered the food and the sun was going down. What a sight. On his way back in he captured some of the traditional Kuwaiti clothing that children would wear for Gurdayan. So cute. I love it. And look at this cute little mannequin. <laughs> So they have these nice hand washing stations in the food court, so I took it upon myself to give my hands a ritz with some water. That is really nice, although I would like there to be soap as well, <laughs> because I feel like my hands get really dirty when I'm shopping, because you're touching stuff and touching stuff other people touched. So for Iftar, we decided to try this Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. <laughs> what? It looks a lot like the usual food she eats. Like I saw that grape leaf stuff. Uh, there's a lot of rice. Why would they call themselves Italian? So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food, spicy potatoes, chow mein, spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves. And of course, uh, they give you some dates to break your fast with, and a ice cold bottle of water. I can't wait to drink that, let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese. And Salah opted for the chicken, like I had, some pasta bechamel, and some rice, and a orange quinze. Oh, the pasta bechamel is kind of like a macaroni and cheese kind of thing. At first I thought it was a, a pita that was like roast in a pan. Drink and water of course as well. Uh. 
She looks super uncomfortable. It's like a swivel chair, so she can't push the chair out further. She looks super uncomfortable. Imagine like outsizing yourself for the rest of the world where you just don't fit into anything. I must say this Abaya is one of her better ones. It, the material looks much nicer, higher quality, and it's got this nice detail here. And I don't know, just the overall fit. She doesn't look like no face while wearing it, basically. <laughs> Here it looks like we have more traditional Bergayan outfits, this time for girls and young ladies. Hello. Aww. Street kitties. It does look like they get fed. I hope they nutrient spay them as well. We've got a couple of feral cat colonies here. I know there's one at university, there's one at the zoo has one, and other places like holiday resorts and so on. And what they do is they spay and neuter all of them and try to do it to the kittens as quick as they can to prevent more litters. And then they also vaccinate them so they've got like this whole program of trying to control the population and keep them healthy and then they have things with food and water that they put out for them as well which i guess is easier than trying to eradicate them the whole time and i think it's more humane so it looks like they've got yeah, I don't know if that's for the cats. It might be. I hope they do have something like that. Oh, okay, it is for the cats. Okay, that's nice to see. Looks like there might be some shelter back there. Also, with the feral cat colony projects, people also give them some shelter. That's nice. It's quite boring how all the videos are kind of like food-centered, which I guess, I mean, attracts, but... <laughs> I find it quite boring. People said that she deleted a lot of live streams. I'm not sure how many because I don't like keep track, but there's supposed to be more live streams here. I wonder if she still has the comments off. Let's see. No, she doesn't. Uh, yeah, it's always weird. It's It's like very quiet. I guess they go when other people are actually at home with their families. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know. People being sad about the stray cats. Someone says Kuwait smells bad. Can't smell bad everywhere, can it? Okay, whatever, nothing interesting. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!